Well, hello. It has been some time since I've seen you guys, and to say I miss you is the understatement of the century. Well, you can probably tell by the title where I've been, but if you just clicked and you didn't see the title, I am officially pregnant and Scotty and I are expecting our first little baby. <laughs> my nails have grown out since the time that we've chatted, but also my belly has started to grow and we are officially in week 17 as I am filming this video. I'm over the moon, but I have been filming clips along the way and to say that the first trimester was a little bit tricky for your girl is also kind of the understatement of the century, but thankfully I have the most supportive partner and we're gonna hear from Scotty at the end of the video because I always find so much value in hearing the partner's perspective. Now in this video, I wanna take you along the best bits, the magic of finding out, the magic of telling our friends and family, and I don't know, just all of those little moments in between in the in the interim of these past couple of months, I. Yeah, I've just missed being here on YouTube and I'm so sorry that I didn't give you a heads up. I just really didn't know that I would be feeling that way. And the caveat here was, if you guys don't know, I also have a side hustle on steroids and I ended up having to shoot six weddings, four of them by myself um, in my first trimester. And that absolutely knocked my socks off and I had one of the biggest clients that I've ever had as well that needed 51 reels, 273 workout videos. So your girl has been busy editing, but not for us. And those are delivered, those are done. I have so much exciting content coming, but let's get into the nitty gritty. Finding out I'm pregnant, side note, if you are not into baby content, this channel is not gonna become fully baby content and I'll try to really segment it out um, so you know in the titles if it's definitely could be a trigger for you. And if that's the case, feel free, pass it on. I'll see you next week and I'm gonna try to make sure that that's the case, but let's dive right in. This is when I found out. I'm feeling really like overwhelmed but like excited because you don't feel anything different in this moment but everything is about to change that is like the best yes I've ever gotten in my life it's just so clear <laughs> There won't be a ton of little segments where I'm talking to you, but I will have vlog entries along the way. There'll just be a couple notes that I want to kind of lead into the next segment. However, no one talks about on the internet how stressful it is to tell your partner. Now, Scotty and I had previously talked about this because I had in my head that it was going to take us a really long time to have this happen for us. And we were so fortunate and, and I feel really grateful saying this. And um, yeah, it happened for us quite quickly. Um, but we had made the decision, I asked him one day, do you want me to just look or would you like to look together? And he was very thoughtful in saying, you know what, I think I would want you to look because if it, if it does take a long time and there are many times where we look together, I don't want you to feel like you're doing something wrong or anything like that. Now there was a moment where I did have a test and we were finally trying and it came back negative. And it was the first moment where I felt that deep disappointment. And that's when I knew 
Amanda, I think you are ready for this season of life. As disappointing as that felt, I kind of take the, took that on the head and thought, wow, you really want this. How exciting. So let me show you <laughs> the clips of one attempting to tell Scotty and failing terribly because then I totally chickened out. I wanted it to be so special for him and he had a day of meetings. And then I was like, no, I want him to be able to like really soak this in and then telling him. All right, hello you guys. Back to the very spot where I confirmed and found out that I am pregnant. It's so crazy. It's been a couple of days since then. I have managed to tell Scotty. I feel like I've been drinking too much tea during the morning and then not, um, I turned them on. Can I film it? What? Can I film it? Sure. <laughs> okay, so Amanda said you have to come see how Rosie has hit a bone. Let's see how she hit a bone. <laughs> I'm talking about you, Rose. It's okay. so over here? Yeah, she like literally put it under puppy. <laughs> this is her puppy. Babe. You've just been sitting on this this whole time. How long have you been for? Because <laughs> you found out? Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I just knew. I just knew. Why? I saw what he thinks. <laughs> And I wanted to do just a little vlog entry as if this was a diary officially for me to remember. I am telling my parents tonight. And so my plan, I think, if I can execute it properly, is we are going to order fish and chips from one of our favorite little local spots. Just a nice cozy meal. It's officially September and it is feeling very cozy out. And um, so I was like, it, well, my dad's helping me with the tail end of a project, but it's not messy. It's like putting a countertop in our laundry room, which I will be showing you the whole process of that in another vlog. So I said to my dad, why don't you guys come over for dinner? That would be really nice. We just got our new dining chairs. We haven't got to break them in with anyone for dinner yet. And they agreed, which is lovely, obviously. <laughs> and so we're gonna order food. And what I'm gonna do, I think, I've been trying to think of how I tell my parents because I know they're gonna be so excited and I am literally bursting with joy to tell them and I'm so excited to tell them and and I just want them to know right now, even though it's really early days. I'm very much of the belief and everyone has their very own way of handling everything and I've been finding that out very much in looking things up for pregnancy and birth and baby and, and life and how it's gonna change different things. Um, but I'm very much of the belief right now that I sit in that if something is to go wrong, that I would want them to know because I would need their support. So currently we are in week six, going into week seven. Scotty and I have our very first doctor's appointment coming up this Friday, which is very exciting. And I just said to Scotty, I'm like, oh, do you want to come to this one? And he's like, yes, absolutely. Like, of course. So we're gonna go to that earlier in the morning before his meetings start. It's just been kind of fun. I have been feeling so tired. I was doing this project and doing the laundry room. I, I already forgot what I was gonna tell you, but let me finish this thought and then I'll move back to telling my parents. But I was doing this project in the laundry room and it required 
construction and using the saws and holding shiplap and doing a little and painting and all the stuff. And I remember looking at it one day just before I knew I was pregnant and literally being like, I can't even fathom starting this project. Like I'm not tired. I am exhausted and I just didn't know why. And that's why. And then, so the next day when I finally knew it all made a lot more sense, but I would just be like laying on the bed. And normally when I have a project, I mean, I feel like if you guys have been here for some time, you know, I'm like stuck right in, I'm ready to go. But anyway, so tonight ordering food for my parents, back to the original reason why I wanted to put it in this diary, but this is my idea. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna serve everyone's plates and then I'm gonna put two plates in front of me and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start crying right now just thinking about telling them, I'm so excited. I'm gonna put my food on two plates and put them in front of me and be eating from two. And when someone says, if this happens, if they're like, why are you eating from two plates? I'm gonna say, well, I'm eating for two. Um, and so hopefully that goes down the treat. If not, we'll figure something out, but I'm just going to pretend like I am vlogging and pop up the camera that I'm vlogging like our first time using our dining set, which I kind of just came up right here on the spot. <laughs> so here we go. That is kind of the tricky part is figuring out how to capture people's reaction in such an organic, authentic way so that Scotty and I can cherish it for the rest of our lives and we can show, hopefully if this all goes to plan, our future child, how excited and how loved they already were before coming Earthside, that would be, that would just be lovely, wouldn't it? I definitely am gonna edit together a compilation because I ended up getting to tell my best friend Rebecca last night and her reaction was just the best and she is a little one and so to be able to join her in this season of life that we've been talking about for so long has just been wonderful. The one she was like, big time. The yes went faded. away. So the yes they faded, so I showed them what they know. I was like, what'd you pick? Yeah, I'm gonna film you opening it because it's so cute. Ready? So let me know if you have any questions below. I would love to continue to share this process. I know that if you're not in this season of life, you may not be interested in it at all, but I definitely want to share as much as what I'm going through. So symptoms right now this week, um, really sore chest. It That was like one of the biggest things that kind of led me to take a test. That being so exhausted, having to pee more, that's like another one because you're getting more blood rushing to um, your uterus and things like that because hormones are changing. So you have to go to the washroom more. Mood swings. I was watching um, some of the things that are going stateside with all of the elections. I was watching some speeches and watching an impassioned speech, I just started bawling. I would just be bawling. And, and I just thought it was just because um, I just feel like passion is one of my biggest trigger points, tenderness and passion. But when you are also going through your first trimester of pregnancy and you have hormones rushing, it will also, whatever your normal triggers are, they're going to be taken to a whole another level. So I wanted to check in, let you guys know things are going good. I, I mean, obviously this will be so much farther past, but I feel like I've been a little bit absent from Instagram just because I've been so tired and I've had so much work on the go and, and family photo shoots and weddings to shoot. But Scotty and I are getting excited for our honeymoon. I'm 
really hoping I feel okay, considering today was my first day feeling nauseous, but we'll see how it goes. And it's finally set in. I'm feeling very excited. There have been some moments where I've felt really overwhelmed um, about change and things like that, and even body and, and all of those things. But my fingers are crossed to have a healthy pregnancy and be able to start our family. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go get ready for dinner. I'll show you what I'm wearing. I, I like my little outfit today and I'm going to be trying to wear my jeans as long as I can. And andiamo, we will carry on. This will be a vlog that'll carry over probably a long period of time um, because it won't be released for a while, obviously, until I'm ready to share this news. But your girl's tired. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. I'm just so excited. special being able to film my parents reactions and getting them so good like sometimes you have people in your life you just love and they are so tricky to surprise because they just have this intuition about them I was saying in the end of the clip when my mom was hugging me and she's obviously very emotional I just felt like she knew like I just feel like in her heart somewhere she knew because I was going over to their house one night doing a project she's like you are really tired <laughs> And I was. I was so, so tired. During the point of time before I had found out I was doing a home reno project, I think I mentioned that here, and it just knocked my socks off. But this part, this next section, I hope it gives you all the feels because when I was editing this, when I was filming it, when I was putting this together, I was literally smiling ear to ear and I feel so grateful to have these shots. Now I was able to get my parents in a horizontal because I really faked that we were doing a vlog, but we managed to get tons of iPhone content of some of our closest, nearest and dearest loved ones, family and friends of their reactions and some really fun ways we told them. You'll see two of my best friends, Sarah and Haley. I tricked them by saying that they wrote something really weird on your Starbucks cup. I told Sarah that they wrote a nickname for her on it 
and that my cup said sunshine girl and then I had to describe her and they wrote a nickname and then she looks and then Haley I said that they wrote something weird on her cup so I can't wait for you to go through they are so hilarious now quick note I know not all of us vlog some of us just consume vlogs and content um, and even people who are uncomfortable on camera, like I caught my brother and sister-in-law, they didn't want to be just included in the compilation, so that's totally fine, but we have it to cherish and to show baby in the future how loved, loved they are. And um, it's just so special. So if you are going into the season of life or you're thinking about it, I can't recommend it enough. It's one of the most genuine, heartfelt reactions you'll have. Now enough but blabbering from me, Amanda. You can tell I'm excited to show you guys this. Here's one of my favorite bits of this whole process. Oh, no. oh my gosh! No way! <laughs> what? Really? Oh, Come on! Oh my god! Oh my god, really? <laughs> I have been trying to make our pregnancy announcement special for the ones who are like the nearest and dearest for us. So I just picked up some coffees and my plan is to surprise one of my best friends, Sarah, by writing Auntie Sarah on the back. So I'll show you how that all turns out. Here goes. Just ready to. <laughs> Do you want to see what I've been working on? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so you were like, you know anyone at the public floor? I was like, me, me, me. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That's oh, my heart. <laughs> Dude. 
excited. That's so exciting. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. A little bump date. I haven't actually said that yet. We are going for our first scan. So this is the dating scan. If you haven't been in this season of life yet, or if it's been some time since you have been and you forget. So basically during between the, we just went on a walk and I'm already so out of breath. It's so funny because you have to drink so much water before these scans so that your bladder is full. But between the weeks of eight and 12, for North America or for Canada anyways. I think it varies a little bit between countries, but you can go for your dating scan. So this isn't one to find the gender or anything like that, but basically to say, this is the exact date of where you're at. And that kind of helps, our doctor was telling us, down the line. But it's also kind of nice to know where you're at because I'm kind of at that seven, eight week mark where you're the most nauseous. And I'm really looking forward to that not being the case anymore. But let's go see. I think we're maybe the size of a kidney bean. So let's go see your little bean. guys let me show you oh my gosh like look at this little baby look at this little baby honestly actually that one wasn't the best picture this one's the, one of the best pictures they have such a cute little nose it's honestly so wild scotty and i were in the scan and he managed to sneak like a couple seconds of a couple little videos for me laying there and this is the one where they do kind of some measurements and they make sure everything's going well and we still don't have like the full diagnostic of it but the moment that you see that little baby many things can happen in your mind and I recognize that a lot of people really struggle to have a pregnancy and I'm so so sending so much love to you if you're really struggling and by the way if any of my pregnancy content along this journey makes you feel sad or uncomfortable like please don't watch i will make sure that there are videos that have nothing to do with pregnancy for you to watch on this channel um and yeah just show yourself some love and some grace during this time but for myself seeing that first scan if you have had a baby out there i'd love to know your comments on this Seeing that scan and seeing that it's a baby versus the first time it just kind of looks like a little kidney bean, like it doesn't look like a baby at all. And you don't feel yourself and you're bloated and you feel sick and you're just like, what am I doing this for? I'm so tired. Every cell in my body has checked out from work. But then two days ago, having that scan and seeing this literal human being formed so much changed in my mind. I was messaging two of my best friends, Sarah and Haley, and I was just telling them because I'm the first one of the three of us um, to go through this process. And I really want them to feel involved because if you've never been through the process before, you don't know what to ask. You don't know how the other one's feeling. And I just feel like it's my responsibility to take them along the journey and give them all the updates even if they don't ask because they are gonna be so supportive and so amazing, but they just have never been through it. Just like I have never been through it. So sometimes when you have a friend who is pregnant, 
you just literally, you, you wouldn't even know like to ask some questions or to even check in to say, how are you feeling today? Cause things are a bit rocky this week. Um, and it was so fun sharing those images with them and family. But specifically I was telling them, it was so crazy cause I was laying there and looking at this little baby on screen and thinking to myself, oh my God, like, I am so in love with this little baby and all I want right now is for them to be okay and healthy and growing well and feeling that feeling of love. I also felt such a surge of gratitude because some people don't experience that. And I was just so grateful because it truly flipped a switch in my mind where at first when your body is changing, and for myself, I'm just really used to having an athletic body. I played varsity sport. I've always been very active and I also have um, some thin leaning jeans, which kind of allow me to just kind of have that athletic muscle, which which I'm grateful for. And, and seeing my body change has been kind of tough for me mentally, more tough than I would like to admit, more tough than I'm proud of, I think. Um, but now, there was that switch that went off in my head that was like, this is what you're doing it for and nothing else matters. And I'm so grateful to have felt that, but more above all of that and, and seeing how I feel some days like yesterday, having such a bad headache and, and feeling so nauseous, at least you know you're, you can see now, this is what I'm doing this for. And I would go through this a ton of times for this to be safe and growing and doing well. But to feel that surge of love was so interesting. When she started doing some measurements just to check a couple of things, I had like tears running down, <laughs> running down my the side of my face because I was laying down obviously. And I just kept trying to wipe them away, but it was like, you know, when you get the stream and it's not like a <gasps> kind of cry, it's just kind of like, it's just happening. And it was just such a beautiful thing. And I literally thought to myself laying there in that moment, I thought to myself, this is the best day of my life. And that made everything feel really good. So that is my update. The new hair, the new feeling, the new me. And tonight, Scotty and I are gonna find out what we're getting. <laughs> so I just went and picked up the cake, which I will show you guys. My friend Sabrina baked us a cake for our little, the, the sex reveal. Try to lean towards the word, um, sex versus gender, because I know there are so many different ways to, to speak inclusively about this thing. Um, but we are gonna find out the sex of the baby tonight. And I had my friend Sabrina bake the cake, and when I picked it up, I said to her, how crazy is it that you know what this baby is? And I'm sitting in front of you, and I have no idea. <laughs> I'm the pregnant person. She's like, I know, it's crazy. But well, we're gonna do the thing where we shove the wine glass in and pull it out. So if you wanna see that, I will actually leave it out of this video because I would love for you to join me over on Instagram at below the blonde, not at the below the broad quite yet. Um, but I'm just going to get that all set up for us. What a fun journey to capture. I'm so grateful you guys are here and let's go find out what this baby is. Now I think it's time that I have someone very important join me for this last bit of the segment. Hello. Hi. <laughs> You're not getting too much shine off these glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh -huh. yeah. Well, you wear glasses. So. I, I need them to see. <laughs> yeah. So, we're pregnant. We are. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I feel super excited. It's so weird to, to like talk about it in a video, like, how do you feel about being pregnant? There's like so much that goes into it. Yeah. Scared, excited, overwhelmed, like so eager. Um, it's like all consuming. It's like yeah. what you think about all the time. It's so many things. Maybe I'll make the question even more specific because in this video I showed like all the segments. So how were you feeling when I told you? And then I would love for you to speak about how the fact that you feel like you just knew. Yeah, so how did I feel when you told me? It was right here. It was right here. <laughs> yeah. That day, it was funny because that day I had been asking you, I was like, I think you should test because mm -hmm. you feel so fatigued and you feel, well, there was just signs. And so then 
And then you were non-committal about it on the walk. <laughs> also that day you went up, you got out early, you like woke up and you're like, I'm gonna get Cobbs for breakfast, which yeah. is a bakery. Cobbs is a local bakery. And I was so excited. I was like, that sounds great. So I was That's like, when I was going to get that test that I showed you guys. But I thought that was hilarious because I was like, what a, what a nice thing to do in the morning <laughs> to go out and get, to get baked goods. I don't do that enough, apparently. Didn't, didn't clue in at all like that there was something else going on. And so then... Yeah, that day you just felt like a little, like your energy was strange. And then at one moment in the kitchen, you had like set up a camera, like you'd put your like phone near the stand. And then I was like, holy S word is... I literally have the video of you doing a drive-by. Yeah, I was like, is this about to happen? And so that was kind of strange because I was like, was she just about to tell me we were pregnant? Yeah. And then... Nothing happened. And then we went on a walk and we talked about Juno, which is a Sabrina Carpenter song, which is so funny because it's about being pregnant. And then you told me here that night. Mm -hmm. And so then my like feelings were like, I knew it. <laughs> I know, you were very much like, duh, yeah. like I knew it. And it was also because, I don't know if you already talked about this, I had such a stressful day at work. There was like a stressful few days where we were launching things. Mm -hmm. um, so I know you were like trying to figure out what would be the best time to tell me because well, it would be all consuming to Because find out I it. showed them, I don't know if I've actually showed you this, I have videos of like three times trying to tell you. And I was saying how no one talks about online, how stressful it is and how we had talked about, I will look first. Now I have regrets. Yeah. I'm like, oh shoot, I wish we had at least for the first real time like looked together. But um, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to follow your lead there because mm -hmm. if it was news that you weren't mm -hmm. desiring, I just wanted you to be able to process it however you wanted to process it. If you wanted me there, if you didn't want me there, if you wanted to tell me later, mm -hmm. that was disappointing. Just with no expectation of it's a lot where it's one person, but then you're also sharing that news with someone else. So I didn't want Mm -hmm. you to like be also upset and then upset that I could be upset. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just want to process it however you want. Because there were times I was saying that I tested and yeah. I was negative. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Rosie was the first person I told. You can't really see her. <laughs> she can't see her. She's like, right, I told her right there. <laughs> that's really cool. um, and then the second thing is how did you feel telling everyone? I would say, I was just so excited but I th when I found out the news, but I was so like, it's very stunning news. Yeah, so, and it was early days. And I, and it was early days, yeah. so you don't want to get too excited. You, you, there's so many stories. Um, and so, yeah, you're just kind of riding this wave of like, okay, what comes next? We're still very much on that. Yes, like, it, it becomes more and more real with like every visit. And every scan. Not to say it's not real, but it just becomes more and more it's about to happen. A baby is about to show up. It was very exciting telling people when we could, because we were also trying to figure out when should we tell people. Like how, and like, I really wanted, it was so important to me to make it like special, mm -hmm. especially this being our first, like we're both second children. So we're like, we get it. We gotta get, we gotta get shafted sometimes, but especially it being our first, it just felt really nice. So the next question for you is, I got to explain how I was feeling during our during our second scan. So the one where you see like a baby, where it's not uh, like a little peanut anymore. I would love to know kind of like what you are processing in the room and then after in the car. Can I talk about the first scan first? Okay, yeah. First scan was really funny because you build it up in your head to be this moment where like you're both lying on the, I don't know, the bed together and you're like seeing oh, you it on the screen. Oh, you thought you were lying there together. I have no idea. And so then <laughs> when, when we went to that first one, uh, I got up to go in too. We were like, great, we'll go in. And then they were like, On only um, Amanda. And I was like, oh, okay, no problem. So I sat back down, which I thought was good actually. What if, what if there's something going on? Anyways, I was just sitting there and you're like, what's happening in there? It was yeah. taking a little bit and you're like, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. What's going on? And oh, that must've been so stressful, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at like a new family car you could get. What's the best family <laughs> car you can get? And then they called me in and then it was such a tiny room and there was a woman training in there and then the other person and then Amanda lying on the bed and then they're like, do you want to see ultrasound? And then there was just enough room for me to stand in the corner and then I think just like put my hand on your foot <laughs> as we're like looking at our future child. Yeah. And I was like, not as like sentimental and not all encompassing. Not as cinematic yeah, as I was that's, imagining. that's the word I was looking for. So then the second scan was much better. We went to a different place. <laughs> went to a different place. Um, yeah, because we didn't even get pictures on our first scan. We were only just taking an iPhone photo, but the yeah. second one, she like took pictures. But that sorry. was that scan, right? That was the second this scan? This is the second scan, yeah. Yeah, and that, was, that was incredible. When you saw baby moving around, baby mm -hmm. dancing in there. Actually, um, I didn't tell them that. Our baby was just, woo, 
Yeah. Ooh, like dancing so much. And actually there's this one little scan that she labeled high in this bottom corner because baby was literally, let's see if I can get the focus, waving at us. <laughs> the focus. Was like, ah. uh, Amanda's mom always jokes that baby will be like Amanda as a mm -hmm. child, which is like very energetic, very go-getter. <laughs> and then I always say, baby's gonna be like me. Reading Very in the relaxed, corner. introverted. Yeah, and yeah. so when I saw this baby dancing around in there, kicking its legs, moving Literally around, doing like, whoop, whoop. I was like, oh no, Bonnie's <laughs> right, Bonnie's right. Uh, that's okay though, I'm very excited. It was just, yeah, it's, you know what? Even before that, mm. I think what made it very real was when we heard the heartbeat. Yeah, that is one of the first things you get to experience in the connection. We heard the heartbeat yeah. at the midwife, and that was very, like, over not overwhelming, just surreal and beautiful to be like, wow, that little, like, flicker, that little spark. Especially because at first, mm -hmm. the midwife couldn't find it and was kind of casually just talking Because they're just us. swimming around in there. <laughs> and <laughs> they got a lot of room to All of a sudden, throughout, like, the noise of conversation, the woman's just like, there they are. And you just hear this, like, flicker. And it's going quite fast too, because when they're so young in those really early weeks, it, the heart beats quite fast. So that was beautiful. Which is good. Yeah, that was lovely. Yeah. Congrats. What other questions do you have? I feel like that's it for now because I'm gonna do a first trimester video, which I really want you to weigh in on. Cause cool. you were literally like my hero. Scotty has been doing all the meals. I've had hilarious food aversions, which I'll talk about <laughs> in that like hilarious house aversions. It sounds like I'm lying when I say, I can't go in the laundry room. It no. sounds like I just want you to do laundry. No. But I literally couldn't because yeah. of our new countertop, the just smell of the wood. I don't know, it was something about it. But I kind of want to do that there. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, is there anything left that you want to say? Spoiler, it's very one-sided, the pregnancy. It's very one-sided. Oh, yeah. And then I feel bad about that. We'll talk about that in the other video. But yeah. it's just so much on one person. It's tough. It's like you're going through it together, but it's also like a solo journey too, because it's just so much on you. Yeah, I want to talk about my mental health in the first bit, but yeah, I'll save it. Yeah. Um, last but not least, is there anything you want to say that you just want to make sure you remember? About the, this is more about like announcing in the magic. No. I think no. we said it. I think we said it. We know what the gender is, you guys don't. We're excited to tell you. <laughs> Sucks for you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just so excited. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Handshake. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I really want to reiterate that I'm definitely going to be sharing this season of my life here. And I think it's just so fun whenever I'm following someone on social media, I follow so many people and watch all their YouTube videos. So I am very much in front of the camera, but also in front of the screen watching. And it's been so fun for me to watch people that I parasocially love and adore and wish the best for get married or move to their new house or start their family or get a dog or get a new plant or get a new sweater. Like I literally love all of those bits about sharing and learning about someone's life. But if that's not something that's totally for you, don't worry, again, reiterating, we're still gonna do the fashion content, the trend videos, well, that's not baby and I don't have to try things on. So as my belly gets bigger, it's cool. And then I'm also gonna be doing fashion just normal streetwear fashion and things like that. So don't worry about that. And then what's so exciting is I also haven't shared a huge thing that has happened in the last two months. Scotty and I went on our honeymoon. We traveled Italy, like we traveled Italy. Did I expect to be in my first trimester on my honeymoon? No. Did we make the most of it? We absolutely did. And Scotty was actually excited that it would slow me down a bit because I'm a little bit of the Energizer Bunny and he's like, let's chill girl, the yin to my yang. And we had just the most wonderful time. I'm very excited to share with you that next week is honeymoon week and Monday to Friday, there will be a vlog every single day. We are going to travel from Venice all the way down to the Amalfi Coast, up back to Rome. And I have a video for you every single day. So that is going to be so exciting to share. At that point, we hadn't shared yet that we were pregnant. We actually filmed our video sharing. So you can see that over on Instagram, our little announcement video. I might even pop that in YouTube shorts because it's 
literally my favorite thing ever. And then coming up, I am also going to be doing talking more about my first trimester, like week by week. I saved a note in my phone of week by week symptoms because I binged those videos. So there will be a ton of those specific videos as well. So let me know if you have any questions for me about the first trimester down in the comments down below because I obviously haven't filmed that yet. And it would be great to include some questions. Thank you for sticking it out. Thank you for not unsubscribing. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I would love to see red hearts in the comments if you made it this far, just because this community has been so amazing. Like I am honestly starting to get a bit tearful because I had a couple of you reach out just saying, I hope you're doing okay. And um, I, I hope we see a video from you soon. And I can't tell you um, how much that means to me, but collect yourself. I'm gonna blame it on the hormones. I love you guys. And we will see you in the next one, all next week.